When the need arises to release a fish, we're all responsible for ensuring it is released in a way that provides the greatest chance of survival. Snapper, like many other bottom-dwelling species, are susceptible to barotrauma when caught from depths greater than 10 metres. Barotrauma is a pressure-related injury that fish experience when reeled up from depth. These injuries are caused by the expansion of gases within the fish's body as a result of the rapid change in pressure when brought to the surface. There are a number of injuries caused by barotrauma, including hyperextension of the swim bladder that results in a swollen abdomen, and a version of the stomach into the throat or out of the mouth. The expansion of gas in the swim bladder can result in excessive buoyancy, which prevents the fish from returning to depth on its own and can lead to sun damage and increased risk from predators. A recent study led by SARDI and funded by the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation monitored the survival rates of release snapper caught in South Australia's gulfs using electronic tags. The fish were captured at various depths up to 35 metres and released either at the surface or returned to their depth of capture using a release weight. The study found that the severity of barotrauma increased with depth, which resulted in a rapid decline in the survival rates of released fish. Despite initially appearing healthy when released, some fish succumbed to their injuries up to 10 hours after they were returned to the water. The study also showed that fish returned to the water using a release weight had a higher probability of survival than those released at the surface. Recreational fishers in South Australia are strongly encouraged to carry a release weight when releasing in deeper water, especially to assist with the release of unintentionally caught or undersized snapper. A release weight returns the fish to its depth of capture, which recompresses the gases in the fish's body and allows it to regain correct buoyancy. The most common form of release weight is a large sinker attached to an inverted barbless hook, which is fitted to a separate fishing rod or a heavy retrieval line. These can be purchased from fishing and tackle stores around South Australia or made at home using a large sinker and a barbless hook. 